Hey everyone, how's it going? So before this video gets started, if you want to save money on gas, if you're still paying full price for gas and you feel like you're still spending too much money on gas, there's a way to get 15 cents off per gallon if you use my code and link in the description down below for an app called GetUpside. Again, if you use my special promo code, you're, you'll get 15 cents off per gallon. All of my friends use it. All of us use it. It's a new app and I honestly can't believe that more people aren't using it. So if you haven't started yet using it or at least tried it out, try it out once and get 15 cents off per gallon. And then for life, you'll get discounts on your gas. And if you can refer a couple of your friends to use your code and link too, you can get up to 99 cents off per gallon, even more. It's crazy. You'll never have to pay full price for gas again. Use the link in the description down below for Get Upside. All right, now let's get on to the video. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the Ride Share Hub. My name's Dylan. Thank you so much for coming by. So today we're talking about, I know this is a really hot topic, a lot of popular, um, a lot of popular videos have been uploaded around this topic from, um, from a lot of people, so I decided that I wanted to share my opinion on it too. Is Uber and Lyft ending? Is the way that Uber and Lyft, is Uber and Lyft changing you know, will ever will Uber and Lyft ever go back to normal? Uber and Lyft used to be this fun way to make money. Um, sorry, I'm almost wis witnessing a crash here. Uber and Lyft used to be this fun way to make money. Go out and drive people drunk, drive drunk people around on a Friday, Saturday night um, for easy cash. And now it's like, well, put on your mask, drive people to work, and now we're essential workers. It's not fun. It's not a fun way to make money anymore, right? That that whole thing is over. If if I have a buddy, um, oh shoot, I'm still screen recording. If I have a buddy who's trying to to make money, am I going to recommend him to sign up to drive for Uber as an easy way to make some quick cash? Probably not as much as I used to recommend it to people. Um, so let's let's really quick hop into the ways. The reasons why I have 10 reasons why Uber and Lyft might be ending. Before I do jump in, I just want to remind you if you have not yet signed up for GetUpside, GetUpside is a great app that allows you to save money on gas. You get cash back for gas. You get free Starbucks if you would like. You can get free Dunkin' Donuts, free uh, Amazon gift cards, Nike gift cards, Walmart gift cards, Home Depot. You can also get money sent to your PayPal account. You can even get a check sent to you in the mail. Um, so I just do PayPal because they have no instant transfer fees right now because of COVID-19. So I just get the money literally instantaneously into my bank account, which I'm like, heck yeah. So the first reason why is autonomous cars. I know a lot of people don't like to talk about this, especially Uber and Lyft drivers don't like to hear about it, but I'm sorry. There are every company right now, and especially Uber and Lyft, are working on this around the clock investing millions and millions and millions of dollars into driverless cars why because that everybody knows well not everybody but like I guess really big smart tech entrepreneurs know that that's where the money is in driverless cars and whoever can get to driverless cars first when is gonna win market share and most likely cash out huge um, from investors so yeah autonomous cars obviously will replace drivers eventually maybe not obviously but Hey, maybe in the next 20 years, I don't know. We'll see. Elon says in the next year. <laughs> we'll see about that. Uh, Uber or Lyft actually said that by next year they would be all, I think most of their cars will be driverless, but that didn't really happen, right? Number two, unemployment. A lot of drivers are um, cashing in on unemployment. Why go out and drive when you can sit at home and collect unemployment benefits? collect a weekly paycheck for not going out and driving, not having to deal with passengers, not having to put thousands of miles on your car every week, sign me up, get me that money. Um, I myself got the PPP and the EIDL. So, uh, you know, I went the small business route, not the unemployment route, but yeah, that's why a lot of drivers aren't out driving right now. We'll see if it, that gets extended. Obviously, if we're still in quarantine, that will most likely get extended into next year. Number three, 
there's no more pool or shared rides so ride share in a sense is over i already made a video about that ride share is dead you can check watch that if you'd like i share my full thoughts on that there's no more ride sharing ride sharing is over you're a taxi driver now in essence um because you're not doing any pool rides and no share rides no you're not sharing you're no longer a driver where you help people share a ride you're just driving people around like a taxi driver uh so in that sense uber and lyft has changed the next one um the stocks are falling up and down a lot i mean obviously a lot of stocks go up and down all the time that's nothing new but with uber and lyft usually it's kind of been going steadily up but lately with COVID 19 where do people think the, what companies affected most by COVID 19 huh <sighs> uber uber lyft why because that's those are just you know people need rides to work and to to go out and social and everything and if people are self-isolating social distancing it's not really like needed anymore and in return oh this is so good gotta get gotta gotta sign up for get upside guys get free starbucks i was just saying in return um the stock price has fallen because people aren't betting on Uber and Lyft in the future. And actually, the, the valuation of both companies have gone down based on that stock price. The number next one is uh, drivers becoming employees. This is an obvious one. In California, there there's uh, a law that got passed, a bill that got passed into law, AB5. Basically reclassifies independent contractors as employees, sort of... <laughs> A lot of companies were really upset about that, Uber and Lyft in particular. They said, we're not changing our drivers to, to independent contractors, go ahead and sue us if you want. That's basically what they said. Then the CPUC, California Regulatory Agency, said that actually, yes, Uber and Lyft drivers are considered employees. So we'll see what happens from there. But Uber and Lyft then responded again, saying that if this has to happen, then it would drastically affect the business model. And Lyft even said it would drastically negatively affect California economy. So they might pull out of California and then, if you know, it might just end because California's... I mean, whatever. You guys see what I'm saying. Um, next one, rates are down. There's no big bonuses right now. Uber and Lyft actually... Well, Uber paused their referral program. They're not giving drivers new sign-up bonuses, which bewilders me because it seems like they would need new drivers right now um maybe soon maybe in the next month or so i mean once disneyland i mean the uber i don't know does anybody know when the uber hubs are opening up i mean disneyland's gonna be open in next what next month <sighs> i feel like if disneyland can be open uber hubs can also be open maybe i'll stop by the uber hub today and see if there are gonna be see if there's a sign or anything maybe i'll do that today actually um the next one guys um oh yeah and then just rates like weekly bonuses and weekly rates are pretty down there's no like big incentives to give a lot of rides right now the next one no long-term growth uh a lot of drivers aren't driving because they they don't see uber and lyft as a safe option right now and like i don't blame you either it's not really a safe option so um, people aren't signing up for Uber and Lyft anyway. So yeah, just a lot. I mean, there's a lot of reasons why Uber and Lyft could be ending. If you don't have drivers, apps don't work, guys. That's how it works. Uh, the next one, drivers are quitting. A lot of drivers are quitting because they don't want to wear face masks. I actually fall into that category. The reason I'm not driving right now is because I don't want to wear a face mask. I can't breathe in those things very well. Especially because I have glasses and they just fog up really easily. The next one, guys um uber and lyft this is a very underestimated one a lot of drivers wouldn't think about this i'm gonna tell you guys but first again sorry i'm plugging this a lot but if you guys haven't yet signed up for get upside get up to 25 cents off per gallon what are you doing if you if you no, i'm just kidding if you don't use this app yet um i'm not gonna be mad if you don't but i mean really really download it and tr test it out and see if you can get money back on your gas it's a free app don't need to enter in your credit card information. They're not going to charge you for anything. You pay. I actually, you pay normally for gas. And then you take a picture of your receipt. So you get like a couple bucks back every time. Just saying. 
Use my link though to get that extra little bonus. Uh, okay, uh, the, the last one guys, is that people can't, right now you can't sit in the front seat. Like, sorry, my tripod back there. <laughs> I was filming TikToks later, earlier. Guys, by the way, check, them, check me out on TikTok. Maybe I'll throw a screenshot up. Link in the description. Over 700,000 followers on there. Pretty nuts. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, no one can sit up in the front seat, which means that only three people can sit in a car like this instead of four. So there's a lot less people ordering rides in Uber and Lyft. How can they function with, you know, all those people not, not being able to give four-person rides? So... That means their revenue will be down a lot and can they survive with that basically uber and lyft is like surviving off this super low revenue uh the the other reason i have that they will survive uber is that they have uber eats and they're still getting billions of dollars in revenue every month every quarter so they they uber eats probably will be fine and they have uber freight as well but lyft i don't know lyft is like i mean their their revenue is going to be down for the next year or so at least so can they survive huh that's a big question wow guys okay guys that's all i have for today's video thank you all for watching and yeah make sure to use the link and code for get upside to get up to 25 cents off per gallon every single time you fill up gas get on that app get on it now that's all i ask have a great day guys bye